Kim. I'm MJ. I'm Andre. <laughs> and this is another episode of You've Been Red. Y'all like that? that uh, we you didn't make that our, you intro, know, our, our intro music. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta say, I'm gonna go how you go. Right? We'll practice afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it ready next month. <laughs> As you can see, we're up to our normal shenanigans here at the library, enjoying every day of it. Right, guys? Hey. Yeah, we're here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he means that with so much glee. Did you hear it in his voice? Glee. So. <laughs> <laughs> he is not in the <laughs> I love being here. <laughs> Well, guys, <laughs> it's the end of the month, mm-hmm. and we're wrapping up March. March has been a busy month for us because we did so much stuff. We've literally marched right through it. Marched right through it. <laughs> <laughs> Library humor, you guys love it. <laughs> so this month for the adult programming, we had an awesome uh, panelist program that happened for Women's International Women's Day on the 8th. So it was on March 8th. And it's up on our YouTube page. It was great. It was some good information. It was some real meat and potatoes. So <laughs> I enjoyed that. And in children's, mm-hmm. children's, we have a lot of different things going on. I think one of our biggest highlights was with our learning spaces. Um, we had partnership um, They had a partnership with the Alliance Theater who came in with the Little Alliance Theater and put on a play uh, for our littlest patrons and they had a great turnout. And I believe, Ms. Andre, you had a chance to come over and film some of that? Yes, we will be seeing them when I'll go right in the same way. Are we saying way into virtual services? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Both of those, the International Women's Day Program panelists and the Alliance Theater coming to the Youth Services Office they those performances will be available on our website claytl.org and via our youtube channel you just put in clayton county library system in the search for youtube and you will find those videos same place you found us yes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then also on spotify so our podcast will also be available on spotify as well as youtube oh we spotify now (laughs) yeah I mean, we're getting numbers. So, <laughs> so the, it's also Women's History Month, which is March. <coughs> Women's History Day is in March. And we also have the first day of spring. So, if you come on out to our seed program, which is at Headquarters Library, mm-hmm. you can pick up and exchange seeds and give us seeds and take seeds. And it's free of charge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you guys can start those gardens in your backyard or your windowsill that you've been wanting to do. Mm-hmm. And all we need to do is get some soil in a pot. We got the seed, so okay. Mm-hmm. So, we also had a special occasion this month, but all I want to say is happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, just give them a shout out in the comments. <laughs> happy birthday, Dre! <laughs> right, those well wishes will be appreciated, but no singing. <laughs> Please. You <laughs> said, oh, me? Me? Oh, oh, that was me. I feel attacked. Oh, my goodness. How dare you? I so. am a middle child. <laughs> I am the middle child in this group. I am literally the middle child. But well, anyway, we will highlight, I'm going to highlight some things that are going on in April because you will be seeing this post in this podcast in March. One of the biggest things for virtual services in the library system is we are restarting our money, movie, and magic workshop. (laughs) Kim and I will be facilitating those classes Mm -hmm. and if there are classes on video production from the beginning to the end, from the idea, through screenwriting, through the production stage where you'll be recording, through the editing, and then premiering. All of those phases will be individually covered and we're going to start with the teens ages 13 to 19 they will be on Monday evenings from 4.30 to 6.30 at mm-hmm. Headquarters Branch mm-hmm. and once again go to our website claytonpo.org 
to see us on our calendar of events and for adults we have an adult class this time ages 20 plus those classes will be held on Wednesday starting April 12th and each Wednesday we will have we will cover a different topic in video production so I want to go ahead and give you guys a PSA Sip and Paint with Chelsea is booked we cannot have any Oops. more participants. It is for April, for the month of April. It is jammed packed. Okay. Now, I haven't participated, <clears throat> but I did go in the room behind the scenes for the March one. And the way they had the room set up with all the supplies and the snacks and everything, I was like, hmm, I should have signed up for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to figure out how to get up in her. Mm. <laughs> well, you won't be getting in there in April. Okay. <laughs> so, we have in <coughs> unprecedented events, we decided to go ahead and open up the signing sheet for May. So, you guys will be able to call 770-473-3850 extension 2 and let them know that you want to go ahead and get put on the list for May. But, Mark, April is for I just want to reiterate that. April is full. That's good that we have a program that everyone wants to attend. That is awesome. I, I know. I know. I'm super excited about that. And because it is spring, we have a spring theme painting. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I tried to do a paint and sip on my own, right? <laughs> it did not go well. It did not go well. It was just like me. And my best friend, my sister, and we were just like painting. And my sister looks at me and she's like, What is that, a rat? <laughs> and it was not. I was trying to draw a boat. Um, and you'll have to bring that in so that we can show it on the <laughs> next podcast. <laughs> so we will decide what it is. <laughs> I was met up for competition. Yes. But what is your interpretation? What is your interpretation? Art is subjective. Yes, art is subjective. And it was an open for interpretation all around. Yeah, but I worked with Chelsea <laughs> all around the mm -hmm. And that sister had me do a whole mountain landscape with a cherry blossom tree oh. and a little river in the back. I was like, I was like, I did this? <laughs> All I needed was to sprinkle a little Chelsea on that. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, but aside from that, aside from Pain and Sip, we have some great programs going on. Um, so just come in, check us out, mm -hmm. see what we have to offer in April. We have Library Week, National Library Week, and that is April 23rd through April 29th. And we will be having a Zumba instructor on the 29th come in. Yeah, we should be having Zumba happening. Oh my goodness, we're going to have a lot of storytellers from within the community that will be coming in um, to share um, the children. So we'll also have a whole bunch of different activities, some that you can take, yeah, make and take home, some stuff mm -hmm. that you can do here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be something for everybody. Yeah. And we will Every be day. It's something different every, every day for everybody. True. Oh, wait. So it's a week long situation. situation. Right. It's a week long situation. So with that being said, those of you guys who did not get into Pain and Sip, Chelsea's hosting a one hour creativity class mm. where you're going to listen to some mellow music, drink some warm tea, and do artwork. And that will be on the 25th, the Tuesday. Okay. So that will be on the 25th. So I'm excited about that because I know it's going to get booked. And on Wednesday, we're going to do electronic resources. So, Andre, he gets his whole day on the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> that day. <laughs> he was very confused by that. Yeah. We, we're going to share a lot of the electronic equipment that we have, lots of electronic resources mm -hmm. that we have here at the library. Yeah. And we're gaining more. So, yeah. mm -hmm. look forward to seeing you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, Andre, how does it feel to get a whole day yourself? We're no, I love dealing with the patrons, co-workers, <laughs> another story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to attack today. Don't worry, I will get my get backs. Okay, so thank you for
for joining us today. We'll be right back with our next segment. Go to the book out. <laughs> hey guys, we're back and welcome to the hot seat. So we have Miss Maureen. She is in house and we're going to talk to her today and see what we have to offer our wonderful patrons. Ready? Hi, Miss Maureen. Hey. Hello. How you doing? I'm good today. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, can you tell us your full name? Maureen Rothenberg. And what do you do here? I am the Collections Management Librarian for the six branches of the Clayton County Library System. Oh, so not just headquarters? Not just headquarters. Wow. I was wrong. <laughs> I always thought you belonged to us personally. I belong to the whole system. Oh. How long have you been working for Clayton County Libraries? About four years. About four years? Yeah, I've been here about four years. And I also, I, I, um, I'm one of the people who picks out books for the six branches of the library system, along with the branch managers and staff and um, patrons who make suggestions. Patrons can always suggest that we buy a book. And, uh, and I buy books, um, go through that process. And I supervise the people who process books for circulation, so we put stickers and enter them into the computer system so we can find them and make labels and all that kind of thing. So all the books? Are you books, DVDs, audiobooks, ebooks, games, kits, all kinds of things. So a lot of people don't know this. You guys don't know this, but Miss Maureen implemented a great check out a game system, mm -hmm. all right? We have some games, yeah, we have some tabletop games. So some modern classics like Sushi Go. Um, I'm trying to think, Ark Nova, I think we have, which is kind of a mega game. And um, we have chess and uh, I'm trying to think. We have a, a ghost themed game for children at Halloween, but it's based on a classic game and I can't think of it right now. Well, I will let you guys know she does not have Dungeons and Dragons. I check. <laughs> but, well, that's not technically a tabletop game. It's not? No. It's a role playing game. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, she has, you ordered this one game, and I have checked it out. If you look at circulation, you will see my name as the person who has checked it out the most. <laughs> and it's to a point where I'm slightly annoyed when it's checked out because I'm like, who took my game? But it's Splendor Marvel. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that game. That is a big game. That's nice. It's based on Splendor, but it has a Marvel theme. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple others that have the, a theme with the, Marvel, um, with the Marvel characters. I know there's one where you're counting down, you deal out cards, and you're trying to get certain combinations, and it's timed. So that everybody works together to defeat a hero, but you're all playing Marvel heroes, Marvel characters. Oh. Really cool. I haven't checked that one out. <laughs> As a matter of fact, somebody has my Splendor game, bring it back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, you have some displays here. What is all this good stuff? I brought some things that we've been cataloging, or we will be preparing for this summer for people to check out. Um, every day is kind of like Christmas back in my department where we're opening up boxes with new books and and we have, um, what I brought today was a couple of these wonder books. They, these are really popular, these little kids books that have an audio component inside. Mm -hmm. So this is Pete the Cat's Groovy Imagination, but this little player that's actually affixed to the front cover will read that book to you or to your children. And. Um, I brought that one. We have a lot of these, and I brought Mindful Mr. Sloth about Mr. Sloth learning manners. <laughs> and that also has, it's a wonder book. There are wonder books and box books that have these little audio players inside them. I was going to say, did I turn that one? Is it because Mr. Sloth is slow to say thank you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think it's because he, just, he takes a long time to do everything. He takes a long time with the tape, and he takes a long time like playing, playing that he's the doctor and he's going to listen to the little girl's heartbeat, and it just takes him too long. So. <laughs> mm. Okay. And he learns to be polite. I have to say one thing about being in the children's department. 
we definitely love Ms. Fong. He's bringing us all these wonderful books because as we're doing a lot of our different outreach activities and talking to different parents when they come in, especially when they're saying that their child is struggling with learning how to read or needs a little help sounding out words, and we're able to bring them to these books and they're like, oh, this is so great. This is amazing. And as long as all the rest of the stuff I see you've got to present and share with us too. Yeah, these, um, we also have chapter books that have the audio component um, included with them, and so they will they read the book to you. Mm -hmm. um, Let's be clear, the chapter books are for third through fifth graders, like that reading level, not for adults, because I checked. We don't, we don't have We don't know, we don't have any adult books that have the audio component, but, mm -hmm. so that we'll read along, but we do have playlists. Now the Playaway is, um, and we just bought a whole bunch of new Playaways that we'll be putting out in the next couple of months. So this is the dating playbook, this is a romance. <laughs> this is the player, and it's so tiny. So you can you could use your own headphones with this, and it comes with a little battery inside. But you could stick this in a pocket if you're jogging or you're going on an airplane or something, it's all self-enclosed. You just need your own little headphones with a jack. And, um, you can play these in your car. If you don't want to listen to the radio, but you have an aux cord and that setting feature on your car, you can plug that up in your car and just listen to it as you drive. I mean, I've done that too. Mm -hmm. that's, that's good information. Yes, yeah. I like these play mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, and they're, they're really cool. We have a whole new variety. We just bought a metric ton of these that are back in my department. Oh, she's not lying. Go back there. Trust me. Go back there right now. No, you she, don't go back there. You don't go back there. No, no, you can't go back there. You can't. You cannot go back there. But we go back there. <laughs> it's always great to see delivery days when the big truck comes and we know we got new books coming in because, like, right now, you can walk past the TS department. And you can't even see Miss Mario's office. Like it's nothing but like book stacks. Like as tall as I am, it's not taller. It's, it's like one like a, a book box. I know a box, box about to play. Boxes. Yeah. Boxes. So we go back there. It's like ooh, books. So new stuff is coming in. Boxes and boxes of stuff. So we have a lot of playaways, and um, we're working to include um, to have more diversity in our collections. Over the last couple of years, we've been. Uh, we did a little bit of an audit starting in the children's department, mm -hmm. and um, we uh, we really work hard to, you know, our county is 75, 80% black or African American, and so we're working hard to have our collections reflect that. Mm -hmm. um, you guys do a wonderful job with that as well. Thank you. We work on it. <laughs> <laughs> because the publishing industry hasn't exactly caught up to that yet, mm -hmm. but they will, they will. Um, I also brought up a couple of launch pads these are like little, um, this is just the case for this one, but you can check these out of the library and they have uh, video games and apps and, um, and little story times on them and um, they're mostly for younger children but we have some that are appropriate for teens or for adults mm -hmm. and they have, they have different themes. So this is from the Reading Academy, I believe there's a STEAM Academy, there's one based on the arts. Mm -hmm. So your child is a Academy. Yeah, pre-K academy. Mm -hmm. So your child is playing these little video games on, um, on a little tablet that's about this big. It doesn't connect to the internet, so you don't have to be concerned about that. But while they play, they're gaining, and, and they have their own little tablet, and they're gaining skills in STEAM or in the language arts. And um, these are very popular. And we just got a whole new set through a grant mm -hmm. from Georgia Public Library Service. And I will add too that it's wonderful that not only do we have these for the younger kids, but we also have um, the tablets for the teens who are preparing for like the SATs, the ACTs, all of that for math, science. We have those as well, and they also don't connect to the internet. We'll focus on them being able to develop those skills. And those work right along with another resource that the Clayton County Library offers, and that is Brain Fuse Free Tutoring. That's another video. That was a shameless plug. I'm using it. Hey, you service it. This is what I do. And Miss Maureen brings us all the tools we need to be able to do it. Brain Fuse Free Tutoring Online. <laughs> you know, that is one of our most important resources. Yes. Um, I also brought today a couple of Penworthy kits. So these. Well, what is a Penworthy kit? Yeah. Penworthy is the name of the company. Yeah. Okay. And I will show you what's in them. Okay. So yeah. um, these are big, beautiful kits. Um, most having to do, most of the ones that we'll have this summer, they'll be ready this summer, 
They're having to do with phonics or STEAM, STEAM activities. So they come in these big, they come in these two bags. That's the biggest one that we have, I think. Some of them are in smaller bags. They'll be available to check out. And when you check one out, you get um, several items in the same bag, all uh, according to a theme. So what I wanted to talk about, we do have, we have many for children, but we have a few that are for people who are working with um, persons who have cognitive disabilities or memory issues and you need activities for them or conversation prompts. And so this is, they're called Stay Sharp. They're in the Stay Sharp series. So this one is based on sports and baseball, primarily baseball. Mm -hmm. So this kid comes in a little tote bag. This tote bag is only this big. And um, so this is those kinds of simple activities, and it's all about baseball. So there's a little matching game. There's a little jigsaw puzzle. And conversation cards for men, which I think is <laughs> But so these cards have like a piece of pizza or a hammer or a dog or something and they're just for prompts for people who have, who need a little help with um, making conversation and with memory. And then every Penworthy kit comes with at least one book. This one has the comic story of baseball included in it and also America's classic ballparks. Mm. So, Wait, so, I'm sorry. So in that, in that book it has like the different baseball parts in America? Yeah, a little bit of the history. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so there's some information about Wrigley Park. There's information about Oriole Park there. So to page through, and then also this, this comic book. So that's great for a person who's a sports lover. Yeah. So we have one that's themed around dogs, um, around cats, around um, keeping house and homemaking and cooking, gardening, I believe, and um, travel. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the side part of the conversation parts for men. Mm -hmm. The description it has an interactive, what's that say? An interactive? Activity for reminiscing and storytelling. Isn't mm -hmm. that cool? Yeah. That's neat. That is cool. Yeah. That is very nice. It's very nice. And you said that's for cognitive? People who have cognitive disabilities or okay. memory impairments. And okay. um, if, if you're working, mostly if you are working with people like that, with um, probably seniors who have okay. difficulties in those areas, that um, this gives you simple activities and games and puzzles that are fun. That is okay. very cool. Yeah. And who would have thought the library would have had something like that? I know. So those will be available to check out in probably a couple of months. Um, we're starting working on them now. Okay. So we have a couple more questions for you, Miss Maureen. He's been quiet, so I figured he didn't. Do, do you have a question for Miss Maureen? Well, if you want to go last, <laughs> um, because you um, purchased the materials for the library, where do you see materials, i.e., books, audiobooks, uh, websites, apps? Where do you see the future of materials for libraries going? Five to ten year period. Every library tends to be really individual, and that will depend on our patrons going forward. It will depend on what patrons are using and excited about. Um, as we've been presenting materials like these, like the Wonder Books and the, and the kits, um, during outreach activities, people have seemed really interested, really excited. Teachers are interested in this kind of thing. Parents are. So we're focusing a lot of energy on that right now. We still have books. Um, I love books and I've been passionate about print books since I was a child. I also read books online. Um, so I, I have a feeling, I think, you know, they keep publishing new ones. I don't see that falling apart anytime soon, but, but a lot of what we have and what we promote and what we spend money on in this library is down to what our patrons want to check out and use. Okay, do you prefer electronic or paper? I, you know, it doesn't matter to me which one I'm reading, but I like to have books around. So I have a lot of books at home, mm -hmm. and, and there's, there's physical objects that kind of like, oh, I really enjoyed reading this. Oh, this belonged to my grandmother, you know, and so I have a lot of books around, and I will always like physical books. Hmm. Um, what's your favorite part about working with the library system? Me. It's me. 
It's a, my favorite part is Kim. <laughs> Don't be the witness. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my favorite part is um, receiving new materials, discovering new materials, and receiving new things every day, and then hearing about because I don't work in the front of the house, because I don't work at the public service desk, when I hear about somebody getting excited about something. Um, I know there are a couple of families that have been checking out our Sushi Go game, and so I heard about that in the back office, and we all did a little chair dance, because <laughs> we provided access to something, you know, we picked out something that's popular. Oh, so, one more business. Is there a way for, and then either you can answer, is there a way for the public to request a material from Clayton County Public Library System. Yes, um, you can ask. I know they used to have a form to fill out at the information desk at this branch, at the headquarters branch, and you can always just talk to someone in the library and say, I'd like to recommend something. I welcome those recommendations. I will buy them if I can get them. And we also have um, Ask a Librarian. If you go on to our ClaytonPO.org website, Click the little tab that says Ask a Librarian and you will send us a message. And when you send us a message, if you're saying, hey, this book is a book that I would recommend or this material is a piece of material, that we will research and we will submit that to Ms. Maureen and be like, hey, here you go. Mm -hmm. And she's really good about, oh, okay, she'll take that information and she'll run with it. So I apply for that because mm -hmm. I am an avid book reader and I always want to be like, hey, lady, listen. Yeah. yeah, and I was going to say, um, I know in the children's department, we tend to keep a list of when families come in and ask for a certain material, if we try to find it in Pines, we always make a note as to whether it's available in our branch, if it's available in another branch, or not even available in our system here in Clayton County, but it's in the Pines system outside of here. Um, we try to keep up with that information and send that to Ms. Maureen as well as to what people are looking for so that we can make sure the catalog is kept up with. Correct. Okay. Um, what is the most challenging or least favorite part of working in the library system? You. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to respond, but I will not. <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> It's a hot room at this point. It's like this every time. But it's funny. <laughs> um, do I have a least favorite part? Um, honestly, getting up early in the morning. <laughs> I think we can all agree. We can agree on that. Yeah, I was working. Well, no, I have to have a slightly more later start time. Yeah, I work a night shift if I could, and I used to <laughs> many, many years ago. I worked a circulation desk where they were open until 10, and I worked the late shift. Oh, so. wow. Yeah. Where was it? Oh, gosh, in upstate New York. Oh. Mm. And I still have a little plaque that gave me when I left that said it's hard for a night person to work days. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Big face. Um, my final question before Kimberly. <laughs> um, uh, uh, is there anything, inspiration, words of wisdom, anything you would want to talk to our audience about, about the library or anything in general? Uh, words of wisdom. We have a lot of different kinds of materials and we, we say all the time people don't know what we do. They don't know what we have and they don't know what we do and um, that will always be true. So um, come in and look around to ask. We have um, Sometimes we have museum passes, we have state park passes right now that get you into the state parks for a reduced fee, I believe. And um, we have these kinds of materials, we have all kinds of programming. So come in and ask, find out, look us up online. Those are my words of wisdom. So, Ms. Maureen, yes. what was the last book you read? Oh, the last book I read, I think, was called A House with Good Bones. And I actually, it hasn't quite been published yet, but I had a pre-print a pre of it. Mm. Um, I actually listened to it online. I didn't technically read it, I listened to it. But it was A Haunted House Story mm -hmm. um, and uh, by T.J. Kingfisher, I believe, who is an author I really like. And it was, um, you know, started out as kind of a haunted house sort of story, and then it all kind of 
descended into this freakiness where the house sank underground oh. and these creatures started to come at people. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> a house with good bones. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll follow up with, what's your favorite book? You gotta choose one. <laughs> My favorite book is American Fuji, which is an old book by a woman named Sarah Backer. And it's about a gentleman whose, um, whose son was traveling in Japan and died in a motorcycle accident. And he goes to Japan to try and kind of learn more about what happened to his son and the people that he knew there. And uh, runs into an American woman there who agrees to translate for him. And it's just kind of about they travel around and it's about the culture clash and how they try to understand Japanese society and, yeah. and um, learn more about what's going on and, and kind of I think they fall in love, but nah, 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 it's not a big romance. Interesting. I, I feel like that's a movie. Did it make that a movie? Not that I know of. And the, Sarah Backer has never written another novel. Really? No. So I, I don't know what happened to her. Really? She went into the house with the bones. Write me another book. That's another book for her. Okay. So, how would you rate the last book you read? Would you rate it? I finished it, or <laughs> it was good one tree, or could not put it down. I could not put it down. Okay. I was so excited. Even though I was listening to it, I would mm -hmm. listen until I could not keep my eyes open at night. Mm -hmm. and I went through it pretty fast, so I could not put it down. I loved it. Nice. Okay. Well, Ms. Noreen, thank you very much for coming out and slumming it with us. <laughs> <laughs> We know sure. you got to get back to all your boxes. Mm -hmm. I got open boxes, yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you for all the things that you purchased for us and have us being able to circulate. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thanks for inviting me. No problem. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, stay tuned. We'll be right back with our next segment. Mm -hmm. I get to tell you the three. Read it. <laughs> so, I'm going to start off because we have three book clubs right now. Um, one is already in effect. Um, and for that one, we're reading... Hold on. Don't, don't judge me. Hold on. Wait a minute. I have to get my books. For that one, we're reading The Seat. So... That one, you can go on our website and see when it meets. But this one is a virtual book club. The books are available here at the headquarters. So you just come to the front desk and you say, Hey, I want the, the book seat. And they know it's on the back shelf and they'll get it and check it out to you. So that's one book seat. Then we have, because, so we have the good and the, the you know, the do something with your life and the I read to have fun. Okay. So, we have those two book clubs. Both of them will be starting the, in May. But you can come now in April and check these books out. So, for our Business Besties book club, we have Who Moved the Cheese. So, this is a good book. Have you ever read this book? No. No, I haven't. I haven't read that one yet. So, Who Moved the Cheese? You suggested that one to me. I haven't gotten to it yet. But we got our audio to see three of So, okay. Audio is where I'm going to get it. And um, they also have this, so if you want to read this one, if adults want to read this one and you also want to encourage your child to read it, we also have it in a children's book. Um, the children's book is not as gritty, like meat and potato, mm -hmm. as the adult book, but it is a really good book. So this will be the first one we're reading, and this book club will be the first weekend in April, the first the first weekend in May. So you can grab your book now, check it out. It's a quick read. And it's really good. It's really good. So that's that. But for those of us who enjoy the oohs and ahs you get when you read the book, that's nice. We have Get a Life, Chloe Brown. So I read this book. I love this book. It's a trilogy. I don't know why I like books with trilogies. I like trilogies. Mm -hmm. So um, this book club will be the third weekend. 
in May, but you can come check out the book now. It's available, and we also have that on audio and the book. And the name of this book club is... You read that, right? You read that, right? <laughs> so those are my books. Those are my recommendations. Join the book club. Come out. Join all three of them because they all, all three books have different things. So... I hope you enjoy these books. And if you read them, then just leave us a little comment in the in the comments, okay? I read those comments. I just want you to know I read those comments. <laughs> okay, so okay. So this month, I actually the tea off of this one now. I <laughs> where to begin? <laughs> so not everybody not of course was huh? Not fiction for knowledge, not for tea. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this was a tea. <laughs> this was all about the tea right here. You like, made them all about the tea. tea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, this man is dropping some tea. Like, I'm telling you, there's liquid tea all over the place. He spilled the picture. He did. Yes, he did all that. And now, and so this is the interesting thing. Now, I remember the when his mother died. Mm -hmm. Um. And you know that was very very sad, but haven't given thought to this family too much. You know, I'm not the Royals watch or anything like that. But of course, everybody got involved when he met Megan and, and everything. So everybody kind of got into that. But well, wasn't following it like that or anything. But then the book dropped, and it was like, because hmm. of course we had heard some other teens coming from across the seas, especially after the Queen passed. R.I.P. Um, so yes, yeah, so once I found out we were getting this lovely book, I was like, okay. So I did not read the physical book because I didn't get that kind of time. But thanks to our lovely Miss Maureen, who you guys will have a chance or who may have had a chance to hear about, um, who is involved with making sure we have everything we need at the library system. She made sure we had a lot of audio versions mm -hmm. of this book, so I was able to listen to it on audio. Mm -hmm. And in fact, me and her actually listened to some of it, bits and pieces of it together. It was like, ooh, for real. <laughs> so it was very interesting. So I'll just say, if you guys really want to know Harry's side of his relationship with his family, the loss of his mother, his wife, and his kids, and what is life like, like being a royal, Mm -mm. No, thank you. Very, very interesting. And he is very, he's comical because he will make you laugh. And like I said, he really dropped some tea. He was like, for real. Check that one out. I will say, spare. I read that book and I will say that Harry took full advantage of being the spare. Oh, he did. He took full advantage of my daughter. She, she was, was like, like, I don't want your bloody tiger. <laughs> Okay, I will say this. The first part of the book when he breaks up what being a spare means in the in the means of being in a royal family is like you're not the heir, but you're basically there as to be like if he means a body part, I've got the spare body part. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, to be raised up in that kind of a oh. right. that's Fair that's just yeah, it's, it's, this is very, very enlightening. If you guys are interested in any kind of royal stuff or you just like <laughs> getting some tea <laughs> for entertainment, check it out. It's a very good book. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You got some tea over there? No, just great books. Okay. <laughs> no tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because this will be aired in March and for Women's National Women's History Month and Day. Uh, I went with Miss Katherine Johnson. Miss um, Katherine Johnson was a uh, mathematician for the NASA space program back in, I believe, the 50s and was instrumental in getting the United States into the space race against the then called uh, Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. And there was a film created who starred Taraji P. Henson, the great Taraji P. Henson, uh, was a biopic of her life. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was some tea right there. That was the, the, the racial There was tea in this movie. No. You're not you're not into the tea. You're not <laughs> doing there was tea in that movie. It was a good movie. It was a historical drama. Serious. 
about her life and all of the racial pressures and the pressures of being a woman in a field of mathematicians and engineers, all the challenges that she had to do as she tried to be a human being. Mm -hmm. if even, you know, she was a human being even because she was a woman and she was an African American woman. So the books for the adults go into more detail about it, but she never seemed bitter. That's what I that's what I really enjoyed about it. She never seemed bitter about her experiences. She was just said she was there through the work and she loved the fact that she really loved math and she had to have a, a great career with mathematics and doing the things she loved. Mm -hmm. And so we have several books here at several different age ranges. And of course we have the DVDs here for you to check out free of charge with your library card. Mm -hmm. And you can always uh, come and see the availability of these materials on our website, claytl.org. And because I like graphic novels and comic books, mm -hmm. we have The Black Hammer. Uh, the Black Hammer is a uh, graphic novel by Jeff Lanier, the writer, and Dean Ormanston is the uh, illustrator. And I think they kind of did a bait and switch on this book <laughs> where you see uh, a young lady here on the cover, but there's an African American young lady who is really the protagonist of the story. And just a brief description, there's some heroes, so this is not one of the big two, this is not Marvel of DC, this is an independent uh, book by... Um, Looks like a very well-read book. <laughs> yes, yes, it's been checked out a lot. This yeah, is good by yeah. Dark Horse. So <laughs> Dark Horse Comics is the publisher. So you have these heroes who have a intergalactic fight on Earth with a Thanos-like intergalactic threat and they're transported to another dimension mm -hmm. and our protagonist whose father was called the Black Hammer has to track them down because she never believed when they were transported to another dimension everyone thought that the heroes were dead and she never believed that and she went on she was a child when the event happened and into her adult life she tried to find facts and clues to find her father and other heroes so there's a little bit of character art. There's a little bit of there's a lot of humor. Uh, I would say the age range would be teens and children that are younger than teens that you believe can handle teenage uh, materials. So those are the books I would throw at you for this month. Actually, what is the name of this big book again? The Black Hammer. There was no T in that book. No. This is for teens. <laughs> That's the only T is love. Because the hero had a large hammer. Like Thor, like the myth John Henry. That's why the book and the hero is called The Black Hammer. It's the way, no. And so I, <laughs> I asked you to say it again because when you said it the first time, the way you said ammo was like very emphasized. So they have a big mallet. <laughs> Those are some really good books, and I bought 
for this Katherine Johnson selection mm-hmm. because she did some phenomenal things. And she went unrecognized. Her and the other women that were with her went unrecognized for quite some time. Yes. So them decided to make a biopic about mm-hmm. that. Kudos for that. And I quite enjoy I actually checked this book out, Black Hammer, for my son. And, you know, while I was cooking, he was telling me about some of the stories. And it's actually a really good book. So, yeah. Um, a lot of action. Yeah. A lot of um, mystery. A lot of comedy. It's a, it's a great graphic novel. And it has a young lady as the lead um, protagonist of the story. I know. Women rock. What is it? They do. Women rock. <laughs> and on that yeah. note, <laughs> and before he says anything else, we're going to go ahead and catch you after these messages. So, thank you guys very much for joining us. We appreciate all the views and we hope to see you again next month for another episode of You've Been Read. I'm Kim. I'm MJ. I'm Andre. Bye. 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 I don't know we talk about what's going on. I'm trying to sing a song on the way out. You usually do a recap. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you go recap or reiterate something you wanted to do. Oh yeah, the interview. Yeah, so, so mention something. Oh yeah. Or mention a program or yeah, something. Mention, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and action. Hi guys. Okay, so we're getting ready to turn the page and wrap this up. I think that that interview with Maureen was a great interview. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. People need to know, you know, there are human beings behind the materials that we that end up on the shelves in the library. And you guys got to get a sneak peek of some of the new things that are going to be coming out for you guys to be checking out. It's more than just about books. Yes, we are more than just books. And tell a friend. Show this video to a friend so they can get the same information you got. And we really hope to see you the week of April 23rd through the 29th. We're not open on Sunday, but Monday through that Saturday. Mm -hmm. We have some really great events for you guys and we hope to see you. Yeah, remember to catch us on social media. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Clayton Live GA. Mm-hmm. Or just search for us on YouTube with Clayton County Library System. Mm-hmm. So, I guess that's a wrap. We're going to go ahead and turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Kim. Bye. I'm MJ. I'm Andre. Bye. Bye. <laughs>